is life. Water is everywhere and we could not be here without it. We could not live as a person, a plant, or anything on this earth without water. So today I'm going to go over the importance of water. We're going to talk about how we waste water every day and we're going to go over some tips and ideas on how to save water. Water Matters is a book that has a lot of essays in it that tells us how to save water, what we're doing with water, and how to conserve it. Um, Thomas Miller has an essay in there titled The Value of Water. He says that water is everywhere. The stone, the wood, grass would not be here without the presence and power of water. Um, Bill McKibben, titled Poisoning the Well, says that we could only last a few days without water. And you might be wondering why this matters. Well, we are made up of 70% water. And depending on your height and weight, that can be a lot of water added up on how much you need daily. So why would this matter if water's everywhere? Well, he says that 90% um, of the water here on Earth 97% of it is just undrinkable seawater, which leaves billions of people on this earth with just 3% water for our daily lives. Um, and it is predict predicted that in, uh, in 2025 that two thirds of the water will face water shortages because of how much we waste every day. So now that we know how important our water is, let's move on to how much we waste it. We waste gallons of water every day for our showers, um, to running the faucet too long, and doing half loads of laundry. If you forget the water running for just a few minutes, that's 10, 000, 10 gallons of water down the drain, according to Brett Freeman's 2016 Stop Waiting, Wasting Water. And it said that five minutes of the water going is the equivalent to 22 hours for a light bulb to be on. That's the same amount of energy, but two very different times. Brian Hanford, 2016, Sustainable Water, it says that clean water is essential for life. But we don't think about the daily uses of drinking water, preparing food with water, or um, the sanitation that we use. I didn't think about it until I read all these facts. I didn't think about how much water goes into just preparing food. Chris Clark, 2014, said, if you want to stop wasting water and energy, stop wasting food. In the US, 40% grown food is wasted, down the garbage, uneaten. The US wastes 50 cubic kilometers of water every year preparing food that is never used. So if you think about it, let's just say you're at a restaurant. If you're eating food from the, the stuff that you ordered, you have to think about how much water is used to make it. They have to wash their hands. They have to wash the dishes that they make for your food. They have to wash the dishes that are, your food is eaten off of. Sometimes they have to clean the food or they have to boil water for the food. So if you just eat about half of it and then throw the rest away, that's wasting all that water that went into making your food. And when thrown away, sometimes it ends up in our clean drinking water, which we only have 3% of for billions of people. And I know that I'm not happy about that. So now that we've gone over a few ways that we waste water, let's go over some tips and ideas on how to save it. And there are several ways to save water for like taking shorter showers or turning off a faucet when you're not using it. In Malky's um, 2011 article titled Top 10 Ways to People Waste Water and How to Prevent It says that sh you can use showers that have low flow water heads or you could just take short showers or you could just use the old bucketed pail which I know I don't really want to do. So turn off the faucets while brushing your teeth or shaving, washing dishes and make sure that those leaky faucets aren't leaking because it can waste up to 22 gallons of water daily. And that's 8,000 8, gallons a year. When you do half loads of laundry, you can waste up to 1,000 gallons a month. So saving water there would be a lot helpful if you just do full loads of laundry. You can wait a little bit 
and to make sure that your toilets or faucets are not leaking. So now that you know the water situation, I hope that I've opened your eyes to maybe saving a little bit of water here and there. Um, next time that you wash your hands or take a shower, maybe you'll think twice about how much water is going down the drain. We talked about the importance of water. We talked about how much we waste every day, and we talked about how we can try to save it. But this is only a little bit of the stuff we can do. There's so many ways we can try to save water. It's not hard to save a little bit here and there. And remember to turn off your faucets and not to try to make too much food. And use a bucket instead of a hose for washing your car, because that's the difference of one to two gallons to hundreds of gallons of water. We all live here on Earth, and it's our job to try to help save the water. My, one of my professors made me aware of this situation, and he was actually surprised when I told him that none of my professors talk about it, because OCCC has tried to make everybody aware of the water situation so that we can try to help improve it. He told me that the OCCC has a free book that you can grab called Water Matters, and anybody can have a copy, and that's OCCC trying to make everybody aware of the situation. They also have things like hand-free faucets so that you just don't leave something on all the time. As a community of OCCC, as students, staff, faculty, it is our job to try to save the water, but that's only a part of it. There's also the job that we have to make everybody aware of it. So this is me trying to help you guys be more aware and we can save a lot of water here on campus and also off campus. So now that you know everything, I hope that we can all make a difference in how we save water. Thank you.